What makes this butterfly special is that it's controlled by a lab-grown mini-human brain. This is a demo from a biocomputing company called Final Spark. They're using human brain cells to build computer hardware that you can access over the internet. This brain organoid is made of 10,000 neurons grown from human stem cells. It's controversial to call it a mini human brain because it's way simpler than a brain. It doesn't have all the different parts like visual cortex and the cerebellum, not to mention the corpus callosum, which takes two of these insanely complex hemispheres and plugs them together somehow. So these organoids aren't brains as we know them, at least not yet, but they have the potential to become even more complex than the human brain. AI is inspired by neural networks, but the biological ones are way more complex than the artificial neural networks of AI. Brain cells organize themselves into networks with electrical activity similar to a real developing brain. By mimicking the brain's early biochemical environment, we can grow organoids that resemble specific brain areas. We can make them grow primitive eye-like structures that detect light, and we can mix and match to make Frankenstein organoids called assembloids. What happens if you take a hippocampus and give it a cerebellum? Let's find out. There's some evidence that lab-grown brain tissue can learn to play Pong, for instance. And there's an emerging industry that hopes it can learn a lot more than that. Here's their latest thing. Final Spark has a bunch of these organoids in their lab. They're feeding them glucose, they're keeping them at the right temperature. It's a delicate operation. Each organoid is hooked up to some electrodes that can pick up electrical signals coming from the neurons, and they can zap the neurons to communicate back to them. So that's the interface between humans and organoids. When you click the target in the butterfly world, an electrode in Switzerland sends a signal to the organoid. Then the program listens for an electrical response from the organoid. If they detect enough electrical spikes, the butterfly moves toward the target. It's as if the brain itself is living within this simulated world. That's an overstatement, at least for now. The technology is moving in that direction, which is going to raise all kinds of ethical concerns we're not ready to deal with. But for now, the 3D modeling program is doing most of the work along with the user input. There's no evidence that the organoid interprets these signals like we interpret sensory data. We just know that when they stimulate the organoid, they can see some electrical spikes in response which is pretty standard behavior for a ball of neurons. But this is the latest demonstration that brain parts are compatible with computer parts. Neurons are living electrical components, and in this setup, they basically just complete the circuit and add some biological randomness to the butterfly's path. What's new here is the way they're wired up as part of the circuitry of this interactive online game thing. It's a new platform for tinkering with these neurons and learning how to train them so we can develop more advanced forms of biocomputing. If you want to get a deeper understanding of neural networks, check out our sponsor, Brilliant. See for yourself why artificial neural networks are so much better than traditional programming for things like computer vision and large language models. Build an intuition for how they work with tons of hands-on exercises that you can even do on your phone when you have a couple minutes to spare. Learn everything from chemistry to computational biology, from electrical engineering to computer programming. Start building the foundation you need to have your own biocomputing lab in your garage. Try Brilliant free for 30 days at brilliant.org IHM. That'll also get you 20% off an annual subscription. That's brilliant.org IHM for a free 30 days. Thanks for watching.